Welcome to Bar Works. Jocelyn here, just adjusting the camera a little bit here so you can see. So today you're going to need your hand weights, all right? Your mini loop resistance band and your mini ball. So it looks like this, like this. And if you don't have this, don't worry about it. You're going to still feel the burn. I mean, you just going to do some tasks. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to adjust the volume of the music, do a couple adjustments to the camera here, and then we shall begin. So I am using two pound weight. You can certainly use more weight if you want or less. We do a lot of arm work in this particular routine. We might start out less and then if you feel like you need more, progress to more. All right, so we're just going to warm up hand weights here. All right, I've got the two pounders. Go into second position, turn your toes out. Then we're going to out of plie, you're going to reach to the right, plie, and reach to the left. If you move the other direction, don't worry about it. We need both ways. So it's an easy plie here, just warming things up. There doesn't need to be a big range of motion. And take a nice breath in and exhale it out. Today, we're going to work your arms first, go into your legs, and then do a set of abs and maybe a little bit of glute work with those abs. All right, and here we go. Let's do the props down. Four. And three, make sure you're even. Two, one more. Looks good. All right, just take a nice breath in, do three, bring the arms over head, and then bring them down. Do that again. Bring the arms over head, bring them down. Let's do two more. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. So you can see my hands. And continue that, breathing up. And coming down, take drop, and then one more time. All right, and just bring your arms into this goal close position, palms are facing in, and just hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and reach it out. All right, continue, reach to the other direction this time. You can to right or to the left, or just go the other way. Feel the obliques fire up a little bit, warming those legs up as well. A few more here. All right, let's do two. Make sure you're even. One more time. Now again, plie, reach straight up. Plie, reach straight up. Keep going. Not by getting this camera the way I want it. Plie, reach up. Plie, reach up. Plie, reach up, plie, reach up, plie, reach up, continue, reach up, plie, reach up, plie, reach up, plie, reach up, plie, reach up. Got it. Four. Now turn your thumbs out here. Make sure you're even. And then one more time. Now you're going to plie, reach to the right. Plie, reach you down for your knee. And if you want to go lower than that, you can. I'm just going to my knee. Plie, reach. So feel the muscles in the back start to fire up a little bit and warm up. Breathe into it. You got it. And again, reach and reach and reach and reach and reach and reach. And eight, and four, and three, two, next, one more time. All right, now adding all that together. So let's go to the right. So plie, reach to the right, plie, reach to the left, plie, reach up, straight up, plie, reach up, all 
alternate, plie down and plie down. Plie to the side and then plie up and reach the arms up and all the way or your knee or more. And again, reach and reach and lift and lift and reach and reach and lift and lift. Got it. Reach and reach. There was I forget. Lift and lift and down and down. That's what I forgot. Reach and reach. Raise up. Shoulders down and then down and down. Do it again. Reach and reach. Reach up. Reach up. Reach down. Reach down. If the plan isn't working for you, don't do it. And reach up and up. Take it down and down. Two more. Side, side, up, up, and down, and down. Last one. Side, side, reach up, reach up, and down, and down, and roll those shoulders around. All right. How did that feel? Okay. All right. So here we go. A little upright row here. Add that second position plie only if you want. And I want you to keep your wrist straight. So you're not breaking your wrist as you raise your arms up and down. Okay, so the wrist is straight. Let's see. Four, three, two, one more. Now hold it here and just pulse the leg. You're about shoulder height here. And four, three, two, and one. Roll it down. High five step curl. Add the second position to the eight and one. Take a break, coming to your shoulder. And again, easy breath in and easy breath out. You got it. Four, three, two, and then one. Bring your arms out there. Hold your plie. Hold up and down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Add ten. Don't forget. Two, one. Roll the shoulders around. So engage your abs, think of zipping them up while you're doing these exercises and firing up your glutes as well. So let's take this to the side, shoulder height, add the plie if you wish. I think of the knuckles, again, coming to the shoulders. You got it. Nice bicep. And again, your wrists are straight. Let's see four, three, two, and then one, bring your arms out, arms up, little circle, 10, nine, oh no, eight, seven, fill your arms here, eight, oops, that's at eight, five, Fifty five, four, three, two, one, now palms down, reverse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, roll it around, how do you feel? Okay, easy front raise. Here we go, front. Palms are down, shoulders high, front. Add the plie again. Now breathe into this, okay? Inhale, exhale. This is not a to where you put that breath, but that will help engage your abs. And lift. Easy front raise here. Four more. Three, two, one more time. Now, palms are up, hold your second position plie, turn those toes out. Maybe go a little deeper in that range of motion. Bicep curl, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Perfect. 6. I know you look good. 5, 4, 3, strong. 2, and then one more. And roll those shoulders around again. All right, out to the sides. Shoulder tight, palms are down. Engage those glutes on the way up. Your range of motion with your plie. You can make it deeper. You can make it smaller. You don't need to move your legs if you don't want to. Let's do four, three, two, one. Okay, bicep the perfect direction. Ten, nine, squeeze. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one more time. All right, roll those shoulders around as you need to. Now, let's take this to combination, but we're going to alternate arms. 
So let's start with the weave the side. I did the side to my left. Here's my to your right. Start with that side and remember it. So you're even. Okay, alternating. Now you're going to go to the side. Side and side. Now you go front. Palms down and side. Shoulder tight. And again, lift. And lift. And side. And side. Nice. Lift. And lift. And side. And side. Keep going. Lift. And lift. And lift. And lift. Front here. Front here. Side. Side. One more. Front. Make sure you're even. Front. Side. Side. And left. Roll it around just a little bit. How that feel? Okay, bring your arm next to your waist. Palms are up. Bicep curl. Now check this out. Instead of in front and to the side, you're going to be at an angle, 45 degrees. So you're working the bicep head just a little bit differently. All right, so here we go. Second position, turn it out. All right, now just keep the legs soft. Here we go, 10. Full range of motion, nine, all the way down, all the way up. You're breathing, right? Hard to breathe a little bit with these face masks on, I will say. <laughs> You probably hear me. Listen, four and three, squeeze it up. Two. Now, here we go. Alternate, weaker side first. Again, you know that's my left. Here we go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Got it. Left, right, going. Left, right, left, right. Two more. Try to keep your body stable. Get the square shoulders are square. Make sure you're even and relax. So wrist, the full wrist roll here, which you have to shake things out. All right, bring your arms up, palms are in, add the three eggs, add the tree. Here we go. Muscles to the back, squeeze those shoulder blades together and let those shoulders relax. All right, open close. Squeeze, nice. Keep breathing, you got it. Keep going for four, three, two, one more. Now take it to those goal posts again, palms face out, pulse 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, roll it around. Play, right. hug the move, bring your arms up overhead and squeeze. So as a plie here, when you squeeze your arms right back here, okay? Bring your foot. You're not taking them all the way down. You stop it right here about the shoulders. And squeeze. And squeeze. You got it. And squeeze. And squeeze. You need a few more. Squeeze. And two. Going on with your abs. Now go back to that full pose. On face out this time. Pulse 10, 9. Think of your bicep. Think of your shoulders. Think of the muscles of the back going up and down. Hold your plie. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Roll around. How that feel? Feel okay? Can we do more arms? I think we have to, right? We have triceps still to do. Okay, so open close, palms are up, add the plie. Open close, squeeze. Again, looking at mid back, that mid back is hard to get this model. This exercise will help you engage those muscles as well. You want strong back, right? Got it? Going. And do four, three, two, one. Pull it here, pull it 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, up tight, five, four, three, two, one. Take it lower, open close. A little bit of that lower back. Squeeze it. You got it. Let your arms. Are your arms getting tired? Maybe a little bit. Save a little bit of energy if you throw the strike up. And four and three. And two, then hold it here, pull. Ten, nine, eight, seven, nine, zero, six, five. We look good. Four, three, two, 
So you can see me a little bit better. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one more. Is that better? I'm not sure. All right, now take that outside leg. My weaker leg is not left. My feet are parallel. 
Okay, and we take it out to the side of something else. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And this. So the standing leg is soft. Okay, and the knee can be slightly bent if you prefer. Move that just a little bit more. how we do here. So we'll do the other side. 
see how that looks. All right, so other side, and remember which side feels a little more challenging and a little harder to do. And always start with that side. So easy touch on the bar. I have my hand just a little bit ahead of the bar. The gator parallel, the hand will be on the hip, and you can do some arm work with your hand. Okay, take that toe out to the side. Lift, lift, soft knee here. Lift, out of the side, lift, lift, and lift. The body is tall, right? And this, and this. Perfect. Four, three, two. Now pull. I have my toe pointed. You can keep your toe pointed. One neutral if you want. Lift. Pull ten, nine, eight. Out of five. This is square. Shoulders are square. Body is lengthened and tall. Abs are in. Three, two, one. Tap. Pull twice. Tap. Lift. Lift. Tap, lift, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Higher with that second one. Lift, lift, tap, lift, and lift. What's going on with the standing leg? Is it soft? Tap, lift, lift, tap, lift. Higher, tap, lift. Oh, yeah. Tap, lift, lift. I feel it. And one more. One to show. Circle. Ten, nine, eight. Keep going. Seven, six, five, three, two, one. Reverse that. Ten, nine, eight, seven. All body. Six, five, three, two. Go we'll keep that foot flat. Rise up onto the toe. Stand your leg. Do the toe. Ten, nine. How high can you go on that toe? Keep going. Eight, seven. Lift a little higher. Six, five. You got this. Four. Lift three, lift two, lift one. Now, when I say stay, stay on that toe, flex your foot, lift and lift. Out of side, you left it to the side, lift, lift. As tight, again, square your hips up, square your shoulders. I want you to be as tall as you can. Lift, lift, right there in that toe, that standing leg. I know it's hard. Stay it. Do it. Hands. And lift. And four, three, two, one, tap the heel to the floor and hold twice. Tap, lift, lift higher. Tap, lift higher. Tap, lift, flip. Tap, lift, flip. Tap, lift, flip. Got it. Tap, lift higher. Tap, lift, flip. Nice. Tap, lift, flip. Easy. Tap, lift, flip. One more. Up over ten. Ten at toe. Nine, eight, seven, five, three. Two. Oh yeah, heel and toe. Stand and lift, lift. And keep that leg extended. Keep that foot flat or neutral. The so lower and lift, lower and lift. You're starting to feel this on the other side, or two. And both sides up to the right. Keep going for four, three, two, one. Extend your arm out. Bring it overhead or out to the side. Give your third second. You're breathing, right? Shoulders are down. Lift that leg higher. I know you can do it. Perfect. Lift it higher. A little more. A little higher. Soft knee the standing leg. Stay on that toe. You got this. Lift it higher. Isolate those little muscles inside out, working them. For 10 more seconds, lift that leg higher. You got it. A little more. Five, four, three, two, one rest. Woo. Nice job. All right. Uh, in four, stretch it out. We're doing both sides. Other side, in four, oh, uh, feel uh. All right, I want to bring a little bit of glues, but let's do a little bit of motion here. So I'm going to position the camera back in the center, okay? I think that's where it was. Pretty much. All right, let's go in to your first position, okay? Heels together, toes apart. Face away from the bar. And you can have a wider arm stance if you want, right there. I just want the chest to be open, all right? 
They know much of shoulders to be intense. So I want you not to feel this in the shoulder. So here we go. So first position, just a little transition before we do the movement. All right. So let's create ground. Keep you create. Knees go out to the side. If you want to get fancy, you can put your arms in front of you. You bring your arms over set, or you can do the same onto the bar. See what works for you. Put your abs up, and again, your body is square, right? Got it. Four, three, two, one. Little forward. Ten, nine, eight, seven. They don't have to be real deep, but you can make them deeper than I'm going. Notice comfort in your knees. Your left arm, knee, pull the toes. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, right the bottom of your toes. Glue your heels together. Create down, lift up. So again, lengthening up, looking your quad, looking a little bit of the inner thighs again. And toes are optional. If it's not working for you, don't do it. You're just going to transition. That's all this is. To some movement. Again, starting on the other side, so you can start on the other side, right? Down for four, three, good, two. Now you're going to pull it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, stay in your plie, table to the heels and toes. And lift, and lift, perfect, and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift, and four, three, two, now fold it, ten, nine, eight, you can hear seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here, knees together, and apart. Open, close, inner thighs again. On your own toes, try it. Again, or to your heels if you need to. Not a big deal. Toes are just a more challenging. I think it works the muscles a little bit more. Plus, our toes get a little work out as well, right? Four, use it. Three, two, one, hold last time. Ten, nine, eight, oh yeah, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. It goes far. Right all the way up to the top. Oops, there it goes my balance. And lower back down. Nice job. All right, I'm going to face the other direction again. I want you to think, take your feet back into parallel, and I want you to think of the bottom of your glutes. So we get the side leg lift. Now, this is not a back or a rear leg. It's a 45 degree angle. So, it angles to the corner of the room. Now, your hips remain square, your chest remain square. You can touch on the bar, hand can be at your hip, or you can do some arm work if you want. We didn't do enough. I thought we did enough. But decide what you want to do. It's okay. Flex your foot and you lift it. So, my knees look slightly bent. Bring your leg a little bit more. So if I bring my leg, I start to walk my knees. Now, think of the hands and the muscle in the back of your leg. Kind of leading the back, but the bottom of that foot. So angle it out. Four, three, two, temple. Ten, nine, eight. Now we go. Seven, six, five. Standing leg is soft. Three, two. One, I hope you get 10, lift a little higher. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now tap the toes of the floor, hold twice. When you're leading with your heel, lift, lift higher. Standing leg, you're going to start to feel it there too. Lift, lift. So you're not going to have the thigh, okay? Now when you're going behind you, at an angle, and you're lifting. Lifting your glute, okay? Lift, tap, lift, lift, tap, lift, fire, tap, lift, lift, two more, tap, lift, lift, one more, tap, lift, lift, focus, 10, 9, 8, 
That's perfect. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Purple. Ten. Nine doesn't matter which way you go. Eight, seven, five, three, two, one. Reverse the circle. Ten, nine, eight. Five, four, right? Five, three, two, one. Over here. Over the deck. Ten. Little tiny pulse. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Body might be sinking slightly forward. That's okay. As long as it's just slightly forward. Three, two, one. Hold the leg out there, right? Hand to the toe. And stand the leg. Pelvis. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now let's lower back down. So I'm going to give you a choice. You can stay on your toe, or you can lower to the heel. Okay, so now go to the bottom. Bend and lengthen. Bend and lengthen. Bend, lengthen that hamstring. So heel to bottom. We're going to be in and out. In and out. Stay on the toe with the leg. If you can, if it doesn't feel good, if you don't like it, lower to your heel. Four, three, two. Now hold it here. Pull. Ten, nine, eight. Lift. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend the legs out, flex the foot, lift it a little bit higher, stay on the toe, 30 seconds here. As we tight, everything is square, right? I'm looking at you, so my head's not real square. Lift it higher, higher in the toe, soft bend in the knees, guys. Keep on it, 15 seconds. Are you breathing? They inhale, the exhale, they're going to help. Got this, keep going. You get higher. Let's do five, four, lift, three, lift, two, one, and up. Next up. Here we go. Take the floor again. Perfect. Keep doing it. Do the figure four on the other side as well. Move this a little bit. So you don't see all that stuff. All right, we got to do the other side. You guys figure for everything. We should be both done. All right, here we go. Stay the parallel, hands keep in mind your fist. What works for you, you can take it out to the side and you can extend it over head. But feels good to you. Now remember, we're not doing the outer side again. We're not doing rear. Behind you, you're doing at the angle. And the foot is flexing for the majority of the time. Now, having said that, I need a sip of water. So when you get that, you get it too. How are we doing, okay? Come on, home stretch. All right, make sure you water, hydrate. All right, here we go. See it parallel. Easy touch on the bar. I always have my hand coming under my shoulder. Take your leg back. Soften that standing leg. Take the right behind you. You can feel the hamstring. It goes to the corner of the room. The angle, right? Left the foot. Lift. Lift. Bottom of that foot. Lift. Lift. And you fall. Lift. And again, like I said before, a full slide thing is okay. But not this. Okay? Lift. Lengthen. Body long. Where your hips up, lift yourself here. Lift. This. And this. And this. Perfect. And four, three, two, now hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven. We get that heel. And my knee is slightly bent to keep your hamstring working. You can straighten it out a little more. Just try not to lock it. That's why I have my knee slightly bent. And three, Two, one. Now tap, pull twice. You tap for up the toe to the floor. Pull one, two. Tap, lift, lift. 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 Don't even do it. Lift me. Oh. Tap, lift, lift. Soft me again. A little bit higher with that second pulse. Tap, lift, 
and your squishy ball. What I call it, the squishy ball. So if I have a little squish to it, all the better. This is kind of a hard one, but we're going to make it work. So grab your back, out and yell, and maybe you just the camera here. Is that probably okay? All right, so we're going to swim back and I want you to grab that ball as well. Okay. So, hand weight and ball, so put on that mat. You guys are still on the home stretch, I'm going to show you. All right, I'm going to grab a little bit of water before this is done. So, if you need that, I want you to grab that, okay? All right, I want you to think while we're doing this, uh, this transverses, your low belly, okay? But your transverses is if you were feeling bone in your belly button, and that's where I want you to work today, especially, okay? Also, your oblique, your waistline. So think of this as a nice powerhouse square. And that's what really focused on. The upper abs. Get lots of workout throughout the day, reaching, bending, lifting. So I want you to really focus on the lower abs. So inhale from the nose, exhale through the mouth, like you're blowing out a candle. And that exhale is where you really engage those lower abs. Take the ball, go to the small of your back. This just protects your back. If you don't have a ball, you're going to see curves. If you want to grab the way to do, if you don't want to, you don't need to. It just makes the exercise more challenging. I'm going to let go of them at some point. All right, begin to bring your arms together. You're going to lean back and press up. Lean into your ball and press up. So your legs are bent, right? You can probably keep them straight if you bent a little bit better. So watch the shoulder blades on your back. So you're not reaching out so much that the shoulder blades are separating. Now, this is where you have to consciously pull your belly into the spine. Now, weights are no weight. If you don't have weight, arms can be in prayer position and extend them out into the chest and out. Or one way is fine, or both ways are fine. Four, three, and two, one more. Okay, lean back. Here we go. A little forward. Ten. Are you pulling your abs in? Nine. Pull it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Okay, now you're gonna lean back and you're gonna rotate to the right, lean back and right. So your hips are square. So I probably shouldn't have said rotate. You're reaching towards the right. So you're getting that rear oblique to fire up. Inhale, and you exhale and reach. You know, go along the right into the chest and reach up again. Shoulders are down, right? And the shoulder blades are just floating on your back. Four and three, two, and then one more. That comes to the center, lower down the knees to the spine, nice scoop of your belly. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4. I need you one, three, two, one. Now rotate the other direction, okay? The other way, I think it's to the right, to the left. Okay, here we go. And four. So work those little legs again. If they square, you're just reaching out toward your knee. Okay, you can you can touch the knee if you want. Don't make your shoulder blades are resting on your back. Belly is fine. Keep it out here. And here we go with four, three, two, and then one. Now work to the center. Make sure legs are fine. Lift your arms, okay, and raise them in front of you or on the square position. You're pulsing. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rotate to the right, hold ten, nine, eight. Are right, your hips square? So you want to keep up on the stomach. You want them to flip over. Three, all the upper body. Two, one, two, center. Rotate the other way. Both again, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, through center. Okay, alternate right, center, left, center. So I want you to stay in your C curve, really form that stomach and 
really leaning onto that ball and twist. Center, twist, center. Wake your palm, no wake your palm. Arms in start position is a good modification. Weight is working, pull that belly in, so that transversion has to work too. And again, here we go. And twist, center, and twist, make sure we even. it. Two more, and twist, center, twist, center, one more, twist, center, twist, center, center, hold again. Nine, you got this, eight, seven, that's five, six, your last two quads, try not to put the work here, side of the here. Two, one. Weight or no weight, palm face out. All right, you're going to lean into your ball, take this here, press out, palm go down, and press out. So, if you can tap, press position, and just adding some arm work to this. Right? Again, palm go down, and then palm go up. You don't need, you need to use the weight. If you don't want to, press out. Okay, like this. Let's go on. Or, are you feeling this? I'm feeling this in my low belly. I want. And one more. All right, now we're going to lean into your ball. Let's see if you're going to spot. You're going to reach to the right, lean, reach to the left. So you alternate, palm is down, palm is down. All right, and again, reach. So you're reaching towards the opposite knee. So they score it, and this is without the waist, so you don't want to use the weight. And four, lovely, three, two, make sure we're even, I see right, lovely, and uh -oh, one more. Okay, great. Come to the center, hold so ten, nine, eight, seven, six. We'll move kind of hold, but that's one inch. Five, four, three, Two, one, and let's go. And relax a little bit. How did that feel? Feel so, okay? You feel your lower belly a little bit here? All right, so I'm going to have to let you go. So let's just do a few little stretches before we do. So you can just wait aside, fall on your butt. Before you do that, I want you to do a little roll down for me. So this body roll down. Lengthen your legs out, but okay. Roll your body down and take your arms overhead. And just stretch out your, your body, your abs. So it's, it's really lengthened. And you can let go of the ball if you want to start and use it for a little stretch. You know, like opposite arm, opposite leg, just really lengthening your stomach so those abs kind of open up again. Arch your back if you want. I barely say that. <laughs> All right, roll, use your roll up if you want. Not too thick, you can go a little bit onto the side and come up to sitting. If you lay apart, by the body of the hip, by the feet, roll the ball out and press into the ball. So you might feel a little bit of engagement with your abs. If you can bend the knees, that feels better. And then come back, other side, roll it out. And then come all the way back in, other side, roll it out, press down on that ball. And then bring your legs in. I do this mermaid position. You don't have to do that. You can just keep your legs to the All right. Palm on the floor. Please push the ball over the head. Try to stretch through the waist. Now come up tall on top of the sit bone. And do that again. Strike into the wrist straight. And back down. And straight again. Now you can reach here. Come all the way back down to the other side. Okay, take it overhead. Nice stretch. Lovely. Feels good, doesn't it? Let's do it again. Okay, you can just put that ball down. All right, everyone, you did a lovely job. You worked hard. I hope <laughs> if it all makes sense to you, give me a comment if it doesn't or if you have a question. So there's some exercises the other done that you'd like to do in bar. So for now, take a nice breath in and bring your palms together and palms to the heart. And that is your posture for this lovely Saturday. Thanks guys for viewing. Thanks for joining. Have a lovely day. I'll see you next week and we'll do something different. All right. Bye.